Dr. J, welcoming you back to yet another video. And in this one, we are going to talk about neuropeptides in the maternal circulation. Now, over here, I just want to briefly mention that the role of the father of the baby, the partner or the husband, is also very important because it is the responsibility and the duty of, of the man to keep the woman happy, relaxed, and in a good state. Now, in this particular video, we are just going to talk about four neuropeptides which are most important to us uh, on the subject. Now, one, we will talk of serotonin. Serotonin is a neuropeptide or a chemical which maintains happiness in our body. So, in, in people who are depressed or in cases of depression, there is always a low level of serotonin in the blood. So, a high level of serotonin means that you're a happy person, you know, you're full of joy and fun. Endorphins is another one which is responsible for pain. That is also a happy uh, a chemical. The two that are responsible for stress are adrenaline and cortisol. Now, depending on your state, if you are having a happy pregnancy, if you are full of joy and you're enjoying your pregnancy and looking forward to the baby, then you obviously have a high circulating level of serotonin. On the other hand, if you're having a bad pregnancy, if you're stressed and if you're not happy, then you probably have more adrenaline and more cortisol in your system. Now, what, what is the implication here? <clears throat> These neuropeptides through your circulation, through your bloodstream, cross the placenta and get into the circulation of the baby. And once they're in the circulation, in the bloodstream of the baby, once they reach the brain and they bathe the brain, and this I have shown you in an earlier uh, video also, that here I showed you this is the brain stem here, this is the midbrain, the gray area here is the limbic system, which is the seat for emotional control, and all your emotional centers are being laid down and fine-tuned here. And on top is the cortex, the, the upper part of the brain, which is the seat for rational thinking, analysis, critical thinking, judgment, decision making, and so on and so forth. Now, the important thing to understand over here is there's a mechanism just like the thermostat in a room where you can put it up and down to regulate the temperature. If, it's, if it gets hot, the air conditioning comes in. If it gets cold, the air conditioning shuts off to maintain at that particular uh, temperature. Similarly, over here, I call it, in my own terms, a neurostat mechanism, whereby the, the, the level of uh, either serotonin or adrenaline or cortisol coming over here can set the neurostat over here to a particular level or a particular setting, which means that essentially you're actually laying the controls for either a happy personality or an agitated and a sad personality. So this is very important. The other important point over here is that the limbic system over here and the cortex of the brain, they form a loop. So if the neurostat over here, the centers over here are vibrant, they are happy, uh, they are full of joy and fun, that will affect the thinking process, the logic, the judgment, and other capabilities in the cortex. So which means if you're emotionally happy, you're a better judge, you're a better thinker, you're a better creative person. So I will also talk about this in another video later on where I'll, I'll, I stress that the, uh, the emotional quotient is actually more important than the intelligence quotient because you're emotionally stable as a loop over there between the limbic system and the cortex, the, the, the better emotional centers will raise the IQ level. Uh, that is why uh, uh, the folder 2 in the um, mp3 player on the uh, prenatal communicator is very important because it has those tracks of meditation relaxation for the mother and um, uh, really they, they relax you and help you to produce more serotonin, more endorphins, more happy hormones which will eventually determine the level of uh, emotional intelligence in your baby. And as I always say that remember uh, you are the architect of your baby's brain because the baby is within you in your womb and whatever the baby is experiencing is actually at that point in time a one-way traffic it's you are the boss you're just doing what what, what is being done so uh, be careful and i hope this video was interesting i'll see you in the next one soon thank you